Nagao looks displeased that there are some fans chanting Davina Rose's name. Before we get started with our next contest, Newark, California's Davina Rose to take on the returning Joshi superstar, former Shimmer Tag Team Champion, Tomoka Nakagawa. And you know, Hiroyo Matsumoto came back tonight, and Yumi Oka made her return tonight. But this is the return I've been waiting for, Dave Krizak, Tomoka Nakagawa. She's more your speed, right? She's awesome. Willing to choke people, willing to take shortcuts inside the ring, whatever to pull out the victory. Kind of, she shares that in, with you in common, right? A win is a win is a win, I think. The way that you get things. Well, she's been very successful. Uh, it was her and Daisy Hayes that earned the Shimmer Tag Team Championship back on Shimmer 40 as they defeated the team of 3S, Hiroyo Matsumoto and Misaki Ohada. I hate 3S. One of the best matches in Shimmer competition during the course of that particular calendar year and a uh, great tag team battle. Uh, it showed exactly just how good as a unit uh, Daisy and Tomoka were, though the, their team only lasted a few matches here in Shimmer and in Ring of Honor as well. But they're a very strong unit as a tag team during the short time they were partners. And you know, we've talked a lot tonight about returns and about absences. I want to know when Davina Rose is going to take an absence from Shimmer. Hopefully never. She's uh, one of the most promising young athletes on the roster. I'll kick in five bucks to make it happen. It's not going to happen. Ten, even. <laughs> Davina Rose, uh, someone who learned a lot about pro wrestling from her mentor, Serena Deeb, who's currently on a hiatus herself from pro wrestling. But... Uh, Davina Rose, this is going to be a great match for her, taking on someone like Nakagawa, who has the experience advantage. But Davina Rose is one of those wrestlers who, I mean, we say it a lot about young wrestlers, but really does improve with each and every time she steps inside the ring, always adding different elements to her wrestling repertoire, her style. Um, and she got in the ring against some Joshi athletes at uh, recent Shimmer events including Ray and Leon, and really held her own. And right there, seeing her take Nakagawa down to the canvas, and a bit of Lucha influence here to the style of Davina Rose. Kind of wants to incorporate that into her matches more often uh, as a way of paying tribute to her background, her Hispanic background, adding some Lucha elements. Well, Davina Rose did grow up watching Lucha Libre. Able to drive Davina face first into the turnbuckle right there. And just kicking away at the midsection now, Nakagawa. Like you said, willing to do whatever it takes to get the advantage and win matches. And I guess that is what it's all about. And Davina Rose in more recent outings here in Shimmer teamed up with Mia Yim. Had some success as a tag team. Yeah, their last uh, outing as a unit was successful. Um, currently, Mia Yim is on a Japan tour extended for several months. Uh, so that is why she is absent currently from Shimmer Action. We hope to see her back soon as well. Nice maneuver right here, stretching out the back of Davina Rose, this bow and arrow. Launching her forward out of that position after doing the damage. Some impressive leg strength there from Nakagawa. You know, we talked about Serena D being on hi hiatus, and we talked about Mia Yim being in Japan. How many people are going to desert Davina Rose before she learns that nobody likes her? Everyone likes her. You heard her name being chanted. Another excellent maneuver there from Nakagawa. Cartwheel into the kick right to the face. Cocky cover, though. Hook the leg if you want to get the victory. Showing off the guns was Nakagawa. Double axe handle across the back to follow up. Firing away at the midsection took advantage of Nakagawa maybe taking a little bit too much time after dishing out the punishment before following up. Gave Davina that opening. Davina Rose known for a variation of a flatliner, charging off the ropes and spinning and planting her opponent into the canvas, which she calls the one, two, three, floor. She's an idiot, Dave Krasak. It's, there's, there's three steps in the move before you hit the floor. Move. You're an idiot, Dave Krasak. Come on. What is her name for the name? Home? What is stupid So says name? the person with the funky cold Medina. 
Are you kidding? Tone Loke? Is awesome. Here comes Nakagawa delivering that kick right to the lower back of Davina Rose while she was tied in the ring ropes. Davina Rose is too young to know who Tone Loke is. Tone Loke doesn't know what a German suplex is, so. You don't know that. I seriously do. And now retrieving the water bottle, Nakagawa known for spitting that in people's eyes, blinding them. You've even said in the past you hope that that's bleach or something that can blind, actually blind them, not just water. I still hope it's bleach. I wouldn't put it past her. It could be any number of acidic or corrosive items. It should definitely not be tolerated by the officials here in Shimmer and Andy Long trying to lay down the law there with Nakagawa so that she won't spit that, whatever it is, in anyone's eye. Grabbing the waist lock here on Davina, trying to fight it off, fight off that potential German suplex that Tone Loke loves. Holding on to the ropes, though. Yeah. Ooh, left herself wide open for the back chop, though. Big cross body from Davina Rose, taking Nakagawa off her feet. Running clothesline to follow up. Flurry of maneuvers here from Davina. Shoulder tackle flying at her opponent. Has Nakagawa down. Knee drop with great elevation. Nice series of maneuvers there from Davina Rose, but still only able to get the two. Looking for the one, two, three floor. Oh, but she gets kicked by Nakagawa. Some of her most lethal maneuvers besides the water are the kicks. Able to hit like step up enzigiris from virtually any position. That was just a vicious kick straight to the face, looking for maybe a fisherman suplex. She's known for that bridging fisherman suplex. Nice neck breaker right there from Davina. All the way across the ring from one another right now. Davina charges, running clothesline in the corner, off the ropes now. Flying elbow, cover. Only two, she had that leg hooked as well, but able to get that shoulder up was Nakagawa. And the fans behind Davina once again. Oh, legs taken out from under her. Yeah! And grabbing hold of the chin lock, bridging forward, Tomika Nakagawa. Nowhere near the ropes for Davina Rose here. And Davina, if she wanted to make it to the ropes, would have to pull all of Nakagawa's body weight with her. Furious that the fans are supporting Davina Rose verbally. Nakagawa breaks the hold to yell at the fans. How much did that take out of Davina, though? Go for that fisherman suplex again, but a nice counter. Got that small package, but only a two count. Roll up here. Again, only two. Nice wrestling here from Davina. Series of near falls. Nakagawa moves out of the way. She came charging, and there's one of those enzigiris. Right upside the head. But Davina kicks out. Great tenacity shown by Davina Rose. And able to get this fisherman suplex and gets the three count. Well, finally, a comeback I can get behind. Tomika Nakagawa victorious in her return. And finally, Tomika able to hit the water on someone. Andy Long down in the ring.